His family is smiling for the camera, but they are posing knowing this would be Jeffrey Spector's final meal. With a growing tumour on his spine, he said he had no choice but to end his life. In his own words, describing his decision as taking control. He said, I felt the illness had crossed the red line and I was getting worse. Rather than go late, I'm jumping the gun. I call it the least worst option, which is best for my family in the long term. I believe in my human right to dignity. I want the ability to have a cup of tea and hold a phone. I want to be able to do those things myself. So he decided to travel here to the Dignitas Clinic in Switzerland. The 54-year-old believed he would soon be left paralysed from the neck down, but it hadn't happened yet. Campaigners say he never should have had to go to Switzerland. If we had a law in this country, then probably Geoffrey Spector would be still alive today because he'd know that, that that safety net would be there for him if he desperately needed it. But people are forced to act earlier than they would. Assisted suicide is illegal here with a maximum jail sentence of 14 years, despite campaigns for the law to change. But others believe legalising assisted suicide would be dangerous. The problem we have with Mr Spectre case in particular is it sends a very bad message about people feeling that they will become such a burden on their loved ones and the state that they have no other option but to end their life. Today, the Spectre family said, whilst we are now in a state of all-consuming grief and miss Geoffrey very much, we also recognise that he is now at peace and away from the fear which surrounded him in the last few weeks of his life. Geoffrey Spectre's family defended his choice, saying only he could decide when he wanted to die. Charlotte Grant, 5 News.